Welcome back. Well, finally, some showers in the area, but not enough in most spots, not even getting too many more than a few drops of rain across the region. Still some showers possible overnight tonight. We'll discuss that coming up and then it's a dry forecast into the weekend and then rain chances come back now on Sunday. We'll talk more about that as well. So let's take a look at the big picture across our region. Most of the bigger scattered showers and storms or more concentrated areas are generally east of Acadiana and into east and southeastern part of the U.S. You see a severe thunderstorm watch off to the north of us where they're expecting some active storms here locally. We've had a couple of active storms, mainly northern portions of Acadiana and over towards southeast Louisiana, where we're still seeing some pretty strong storms across the river parishes and some action over by the New Orleans area. Uh, severe thunderstorm warning that has been dropped for uh, the cell that's north and east of the Baton Rouge area uh, moving into southwestern Mississippi and a couple of other stronger cells locally close to home, but most of us pretty dry late this afternoon. Got a pretty healthy storm though rolling through the Alexandria area just north of town up toward Pineville and then on I-49 to the north and west. And let's just bring uh, this down a little bit. We are picking up on some shower activity, some pretty healthy shower activity and around the Bunky area as we get into southern Avoyles Parish, some cloud to ground lightning. The showers much welcomed across the region and we get into Lafayette Parish. Uh, you can see the activity waning over just the last hour where we had some pretty good downpours up toward Karen Crow. We have this uh, little bit of a cell that's north of, uh, we'll say north and west of the Scott area, southwest of Vatican, and then another cell that's north and east of Karen Crow right now, uh, north of the Gecko area, getting ready to move just to the south of Arneville. Uh, these showers uh, again diminishing as we head deeper into the evening hours. Now there's been some pretty nice rains. Southern Lafayette Parish, the big winter, catching over a couple of inches of rain. Youngsville on down through uh, say the Maurice area and Milton and then over towards St. Martinville, a pretty nice soaking over toward the Poche Bridge area. But notice this is rainfall over the last 12 hours. Most of us not getting much or a drop or two here. That's been about it. And maybe a little bit more shower activity later on tonight as a frontal system works its way southward. And we'll show you that on the model coming up in just a bit. Meanwhile, down in the Gulf of Mexico, the Southern Gulf Tropical Storm Carl getting a little bit better organized up to 60 mile per hour winds now. It's drifting out there in the southern Gulf, moving to the north, so nearly stationary and expected to move back to the south. You may remember yesterday we we're showing you the graph model was bringing this system back down east of Veracruz while the Hurricane Center, they do a great job, had it north and west of Veracruz, and uh, that's why we trust that graph model so much. In fact, I'm going to show you something brand new. This is a simulated satellite uh, based off of the graph model, and you can see how the storm will work its way south uh, down through the Bay of Campeche and the coast as we head into tomorrow night, uh, Friday night, and then going into Saturday. Still some locally heavy rains for our friends in Mexico. Meanwhile, chance of showers still in the forecast tonight. Now where the showers show up uh, remains to be seen. We got to go 60% just based on we have a frontal system working on the, it, um, some moisture. Also, maybe a little fog uh, for a period late tonight, early tomorrow morning, and then finally cooler air coming in tomorrow evening. Tomorrow we're going to get back into the mid to upper 80s for a high uh, thanks to uh, plenty of sunshine coming back during the afternoon. So overnight tonight, it's going to be milder, lower 70s to low. There's your chance of rain at 60%. And I think that happens sometime between about 2 and 4 o'clock in the morning and the true view sky kind of indicating that the cloud it clouds up as we get closer to daybreak tomorrow. Some fog also and then some lingering clouds and fog in the morning, but that dissipates as the day wears on. 87 the projected high, nice afternoon for our Thursday afternoon and we starting off the weekend on the right note with lots of sunshine 58 the morning start Friday mostly sunny skies festivals of Cadien looks good through Saturday rain chances now 40% and they may go higher for late Sunday Sunday night into Monday with our next front and then a nice chill down as we get into the mid and latter part of next week highs in the 60s lows in the low to mid 40s. So some real gumbo weather on the way as we head into the middle part of next week. And if it all works out well, the following weekend looks good as well. That's it for weather for right now. We're going to have more coming up right after the break.